If you had to tell someone who is asking, is outside open yet, what would your answer be to them? Tread lightly. Just take precaution. Be smart, be vigilant. Things are opening up at a rapid rate. We can't help that. People do want to go outside. People are itching to get out outside. Just be vigilant. Protect yourself. Stop wearing gloves out in public. Stop putting your Purell and hand sanitizer on your gloves. People who are doing that, you're cross-contaminating everything. Tread lightly and, and don't get complacent. Wear your mask like you're supposed to. Wash your hands like you're supposed to. When they're saying, like, wipe things down all the time, please continue to do that. It's insane how many people are out, like, this close to each other. Don't care, not being vigilant, not doing the right things. And unfortunately, it's going to hurt a lot of people. Our personal choices are going to impact and affect a lot of people. A lot of healthcare providers are expecting a surge. We're thinking it's going to go up. We're going to spike and then eventually level out. So don't get complacent and tread lightly when you're going out. We keep opening up things, walking outside with no mask on and doing their own thing. I understand that everybody wants to get outside and everything. We are definitely going to see another way. How can we in the South be more cautious, you know, to what's going to happen? Um, here in particular in South Carolina, I, I don't know about our people. We have we, white people, black people, just people in general. We don't want to pay attention to the statistics that we are looking at the numbers and saying, oh, well, our numbers don't look as bad as California. Well, California is 10 times bigger than South Carolina. We have to pay attention to those numbers. People are dying at a long rate. South Carolina actually rated F on our social distancing report card. People definitely are not taking it seriously. To see someone my age almost die from this, it's it's real. Just like uh, Cardi B said. Coronavirus. Okay, it is real. It is very real. On a scale of negative 10 to positive 10, with negative 10 being it's a hoax, 10 being coronavirus, it is real. What would you rate coronavirus? Positive 10 being like, it's real, real? Oh, yeah. it's real. No, it's real, real. I had a patient, a guy who walks every day, still goes to the gym, swimming, things like that, very active, talking. I came in that Wednesday, he was talking, he was fine. That Wednesday night, he started out to show his breath, was sent him to the ICU. That Thursday morning, he had a tent, and right when I got back, mid shift, he was dead. So the first thing I would say is COVID is real. It's real, real. It, it is, there's nothing more real than walking into a unit and you have to wear this N95 mask the whole shift, 12 hours, and you cannot breathe for those 12 hours. There's nothing more real than donning on a, a mask and a head cover and a gown and shoe covers and face shields and, and praying that you don't have to intubate a patient because you don't want coronavirus to be spreading all over the room. To show you how serious it is, we had a guy that came in here separated his shoulder, did an x-ray, and the x-ray caught about this much of it as well. COVID. It's real when you see your co-workers are now your patient. It's real when you're seeing people that didn't have other comorbidities and now they're fighting for their lives. It's real when you're trying to experiment with flipping patients on their stomachs because research is showing that if patients are on their bellies, they tend to do so much better with breathing than they do on their backs, which is something we usually don't do. It's It's real. It's real. If we do not protect ourselves, if we do not practice social if we do not wear our masks, there will be an increasing wave. All right, see you guys. Wear your mask. Wash your hands.